all and all rejoice before Him. Praise Him, all ye stars of light. Praise the Lord, ye heavens above Him. Praise Him, angels in the light. Son and all rejoice before Him. Lord, for he has spoken, was his mighty voice obeyed, laws that never shall be broken, for the guidance he hath made. Praise the Lord, for he has spoken, was his mighty voice obeyed, laws that never kidding yourself if you think these things of serving the Lord is just singing in the choir or sitting on the board then you have to find out what this all about you must be born again
can make it by going to church, then you are just kidding yourself. If you think you can make it by doing good works, then you are just kidding yourself. If you think these things of serving the Lord is just singing in the choir or serving on the ball, then you ought to find out what this is all about. You must be born again. Must be born again, all God's children, all God's children, all God's children. To be God's children, you must be born again. To be God's children. You must be born again to be God's children. You must be born again. We shall continue with our service by singing from SSMS hymn book number 145. We want to pray that God will make all of us God's children, yes. even as we have heard. It is not by coming to church or by singing in the choir. The only way out for that is through the precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There is power, still power today in the blood of Jesus yes. to make us children of God. Amen. You are welcome to the house of the Lord on this beautiful lost day. May the Lord bless you for coming. Amen. This is the Apostolic Faith. We are located on number 13, Penn Hill Road. For those that may be watching us on our webcast and you are likely feeling that you want to be part of us, you are very welcome to join us. We're just starting. You just missed the prelude from the choir. We had a piano or organ solo from team, and then praise the Lord from the choir, as well as um, an injunction that to be God's children, we have to be born again. And that is the purpose of our gathering together here today. So if you're able to make it to this place to join us as we continue the service, we pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. But if you're unable to do so, wherever you are, we pray that the Lord is with us here. We certainly bless you wherever you are. Okay, we sing together hymn number 145. We take verses 1, 3, and 4. Will you be free from your burden of sin? Will you be whiter, much whiter than snow? Will you do service for Jesus your King? All is made available through the power and the blood of Jesus. Verses 1, 3, and 4. Will you be free from your bed?
Amen. We pray that that blood will avail for everyone present here this morning. In Jesus' name, we take another song, number 365.
our prayer that yeah. those who come to him, just as he promised, he will not cast out. Yeah. He will receive all of us today. Amen. Our last number, before we have a congregational prayer, is going to be number 473. 473. Just as I am. Without one plea. O Lamb of God, I come. Amen. That's the one we have come to. Let all of us remember and keep that in our mind. We have come to Jesus who has promised to meet with us. So let's take again here three verses. And I want to request for those who can do so that we stand up to sing those three verses at the end of which Brother Francis will lead us in congregational prayer. Let's take verses 1, 3, and 4. 1, 3, and 4. 1, and three, we will all sing with the orchestra. The orchestra will join us to sing the last verse, which is verse four, and then we have the congregational prayer. Four, seven, three. this morning. Amen. Our only plea, dear Lord God, is that um, you will look down from heaven Amen. and you have mercy upon every one of us. Amen. Those that are here with one form of sickness or the other, those that couldn't even make it down here because of sickness, those that struggled to make it down here, yes. and those that are even in good health. Yes. Lord God, we all need your help. Yes. And we're crying this morning, oh God, that you look down from heaven Amen. and that you have mercy. Amen. As many, oh Lord, as are yet to know you and accept you as their Lord and Savior, Amen. whether here present or watching us over the internet, we ask, oh God, that you have mercy Amen. and you save every such soul Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even as you are touching physical bodies and you are healing, be it here or in the hospital or wherever, oh Lord God, 
We ask that equally, O Lord, you will touch every soul today. And Lord, let there be a revival. Let there be salvation. O Lord, sanctify souls today. Complete deliverance from sin and unrighteousness. A complete turnaround of our lives. Lord, that we henceforth we will no longer serve sin, but we will serve you as our Lord and our Savior. Please do this for us, O Lord. We ask for power for service. The baptism of the Holy Ghost that will enable us, O Lord God, to walk with you until we shall see you in glory. O Lord, endow us with this today. We commit the preacher to your hands and ask, dear Lord God, that you possess him and that your spirit will speak through him. Words of power, words of authority, that your word will come out as a hammer to harm and break every sin. And the Lord, your word will consume every unrighteousness. And today, your name will be glorified. And we will go home with joy and rejoicing. Thank you for answered prayers, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Number 1155 from SSNS. We have with us this morning John and Esther Olaleye. They have requested that their child, Micah John Olaleye, be dedicated to the Lord this morning. And we are very happy with them. We, we, we rejoice with them. It is what we normally do in our church here when we have anyone pregnant, it's a prayer point for us. And when uh, the baby is born, it's the joy of our heart to rejoice together with them. And especially when they are bringing the baby to the church for the first time, we like to rejoice with them and just let them know that um, the people of God pray for them and that the baby is welcome into our midst. Perhaps before we sing that song, I should just quickly give a caution that Bringing baby to our church in the apostolic faith church does not mean that we are confirming the baby or we are baptizing the baby. It is just an expression on behalf of um, John and Esther that they want the church to pray for them. They want to uh, show their commitment to raise Micah in the nurture and in the admonition of the Lord. And they want the church to pray along with them. They want the church to support them. They want the church to know that um, they, 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 they are part of this family of God. That is the main essence of this. There is no moral significance as far as we are concerned to all of this. However, it is something that we are happy to do and that we like to dedicate Micah this morning to the Lord. So we pause here now in our service to sing together hymn number 1155, which has to do with a um, song about... Um, Little ones, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Amen. Yes, Jesus loves me. We are singing the three verses of the song, Jesus loves me, this I know, all of us sitting down.
then we have many examples of when this actually took place in the Bible, and I want to read one of such occasions as we can find in the book of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 1, I will read from verse 24 through to 28. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephra of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shire. And the child was young. And they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed. Amen. And the Lord hath given me my petition, Amen. which I asked of him. Amen. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. Amen. And he worshipped the Lord there. Amen. Well, we may be wondering, John, Esther, where are the three bullocks? And one if of flour? And a bottle of wine? I can't see any. The Bible tells us here that um, they slew the bullock. We thank God for Jesus. Amen. He paid all the price. Yes. We have not asked Esther and John for anything. They have given their lives to the Lord, and that is the one that has paid it all yes. by the special grace of God. Amen. So we have this example in the word of God. We have many. When even Jesus was on earth, how little ones were brought to him, and he blessed them. Yes. We all want to rejoice and bless Micah Amen. and pray for him and pray for the parents too Amen. and all the family members that the Lord will continue to bless them, Amen. that the Lord will continue to supply all the wisdom and resources Amen. necessary Amen. to bring him up in the nurture Amen. and the admonition of the Lord. Amen. At this junction, I'd like to call on John and Esther to bring Micah to the pulpit. eyes are wide open. <laughs> he's not sleeping yet. Of course, if he's sleeping, I would say we should be careful with the way we pray so that we don't wake him up. All of us will now stand up. Remember, we want to pray for Micah. We want to pray for the parents. And we want to pray for the family that the Lord will bless them, Amen. that the Lord will supply all that they will need. Amen. As I said, they are only showing commitment before this congregation. That's, as far as they are concerned, God helping them, Amen. they will do everything possible in their power. Amen. And we also want to pray for Micah that he too will respond Amen. by God's grace when he reaches that age of accountability Amen. to serve the Lord. Amen. Shall we all pray, please?
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Amen. God of love, Amen. God of all mankind, Amen. we bless your name. Amen. We praise you. Amen. Thank you for Micah. Amen. Thank you for the dad. Amen. Thank you for the mom. Amen. Thank you for the grandparents. Amen. Thank you for the extended family. Amen. Lord Jesus, we are rejoicing today knowing that you are with us, knowing that you are going to bless us, knowing that heaven is rejoicing too, especially as Esther and John have decided to show commitment that you helping them, they will do all within their power to nurture Micah, to bring up Micah in the admonition of the Lord. Help them, O oh Lord. Provide for their needs. The wisdom they will need the guidance they will need yes. when no one will be there yes. and they will look up to you. Yes. Father, hear them. Amen. Lord, answer them. Amen. Make Micah a prophet. Amen. We read in the Bible that Amen. Micah was a prophet. Yes. Make him a prophet. Yes. When he shall reach that age of accountability, yes. when he will pray to you, for salvation, yes. for the forgiveness of his sins. Yes. Lord, please answer. Yes. When he will call upon you for that instantaneous experience yes. of holiness yes. and sanctification, yes. Father, please answer him. Yes. When he will pray unto you yes. for the endowment yes. of the Spirit of God from above, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. please give it to him. Yes. Lord, make him a pillar. Yes. Make him a post. Amen. Have mercy upon him. Amen. Have mercy upon the parents. Amen. Let your love and your spirit continue to overpower, Amen. overshadow, Amen. and continue to guide them Amen. all the days of their life. Amen. Do this for us and much more. Amen. We pray in the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. All these, Father, and much more Amen. that you know that your lawyers will need. Amen. You will provide. Yes. You will supply. Amen. As we pray Amen. in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Did you hear him saying amen? amen. In his own way. And at last now, close the eyes. I now need to sleep. I need my rest. God bless you. We continue with our service with the last special and then the word of exhortation. Sometimes the shadows gather and mist obscure the way. Sometimes the clouds grow heavy and darken all the way. How precious to remember our Father's loving care. Keep on believing, God will answer prayer. 
taking our text this morning from the Gospel according to St. John, the third chapter. St. John, the third chapter. I'm reading the third verse. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yeah. We thank God for all our newborn babies. Yeah. And even the opportunity God has given me and those of us present here today to dedicate one of our new arrivals. We rejoice with them. Yeah. And we continue to pray that the Lord will bless them. Yeah. Yeah. A time like this makes us to even remember those that are looking unto the Lord for similar blessing. Yeah. We pray that those that are waiting for such joy, that God will answer their prayers. Amen. Birth is the beginning of life. Yes. Of course, I know, when a baby is conceived inside, as far as God is concerned, that baby has begun to live somehow. But at least for us, when he arrives, there's some special joy to it. Yeah. That arrival, we see it as something brand new, isn't it? Brand new in the world. It's not reformed. I come from um, a culture where if a baby is born, either a boy or a girl, they look back and then they check. They may say that um, that baby is a returnee. <laughs> and they say it's the mama that has gone. Mm. Or it's the papa that has gone, that has come back. There is nothing like that. No. Every baby is brand new oh, yes. from God. Yeah. God made them new. Yeah. Complete transformation. Yes. Brought life out of a meeting between a man and a woman, and it's a miracle. Oh, yes. No one knows exactly how that is done. All parents can confirm that the process from the beginning to the time of birth is the entire handiwork yes. of God yes. and God alone. Oh, yes. Just as we have in the book of Ecclesiastes, the 11th chapter, verse 5, that says that, as thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, nor how the bones grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so, thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. It is the work of God. Yes. And in like manner, miraculously, God makes a new creature yeah. out of a sinner. Amen. It's not a reformed life. It's not a refurbished life. It's a complete transformation. Yes. That's what Jesus was explaining in this chapter that is common to um, many people about when we talk about born again, you find that in this book of John chapter 3, Jesus was explaining to this honest inquirer who came to Jesus at night. He was a ruler, we are told. He was a master, we are told. A senator, to some extent. A man of authority. He was a good man, but he was not godly. And Jesus saw through that all these qualifications that Nicodemus, who came to Jesus, had, will not do. Even coming to Jesus by night alone will not do. And no wonder Jesus made it very plain and clear to him what is required. Ye must be born again. Amen. It's not something to be patched up. It must begin from the foundation. You must have a new nature. If you want to make heaven, new principles new attitudes, new affections, new aims, new behaviors, new appetite, new outlook, new perspective, new interpretations, and new understanding. Of course, all these are not possible just with the first bath. And that is why we need the touch of Jesus. That is why we need the second bath. It is an indispensable necessity. If Anyone wants to be a child of God. Yeah. You look at verse 4. Nicodemus didn't understand much. And he said, how can a man be born when he's old? 
Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Nicodemus was referring to the kind of birth that we've just celebrated. I've, I've come out. There is no way for me to go back in and then be born again. And Jesus Christ made a summary. In the, the remaining verses, they have verses 5 to 8, Jesus made it clear that this is a miracle. Yes. This is amazing grace. Amen. This is uh, to, to have somebody who is like, is, as a songwriter put it, a wretch like me, and just make me different, make me whole, took away all my sins. That's a miracle. Yeah. It is. It's not something that one can do by willpower. No. It is what God alone does. Yeah. It is the work of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Well, I understood there may be a kind of um, nine-month incubating process uh, before Micah came out um, from the womb. But when we talk about this second birth, it is instantaneous. Amen. I understood, too, from some experience that um, the, during birth, the woman will go through some pain. You know, to be born again, there was pain, too. There was pain that cannot be compared yeah. with the pain that Esther had when Micah was coming out, mm. or my mom had when I was born, mm. or perhaps your own parents too. Mm. There was pain attached mm. to even this second birth, mm. to even this new birth. Mm. But glory to God, hallelujah, yeah. Jesus yeah. bore that pain. Yeah. He bore it all. He took yeah. upon him everything. Yeah. His humiliation, his suffering up to the cross was the necessary pain that he has to go through before one can be born again, before one can be set free from the devil and his works. Jesus gives complete victory. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible tells us that he that committed sin yeah. is of the devil. Yeah. That is period. Don't say that I'm calling a sinner who is yet unrepented a child of the devil. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. You belong to the devil. Yeah. You don't belong to God. Yeah. But glory be to God in that same uh, uh, John, talking about the, this in 1 John uh, um, chapter 3, verses 8 and 9, he said that for this purpose, yes. the Son of God was manifested Amen. that he might destroy the works of the devil, yeah. and that whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. Yes. That is not my word. Yeah. That is the standard of the word of God. Yeah. If you are born of God, you do not commit sin. Yeah. If you are a sinner, you are not yet born again. Yeah. You are not yet born of God. But the good news is that we can all be born of God. Yeah. And that is the purpose of our meeting here this morning. And we pray. That God is going to help us Amen. to be born again. Amen. Because the word of God tells us in Romans 3, 23, that all have sinned Amen. and have come short of the glory of God. At times when we ask people to define sin, they see it differently. One may want to give a catalog of things to do or not to do. Sin is deeper than that. Sin is not simply a catalog of committed transgressions. It is a condition of which Individual acts of wrongdoings are generated. It is from the heart. It's not just a question of, okay, you name this, you name that, you name adultery, fornication, stealing, lying, I don't do this, I don't do that. It's greater than that. It has to do with the condition of the heart. And God knows how to deal with the heart. This thing we are talking about may be obvious, and most are sought to. And that's why we as human beings, we will be calling somebody a saint. But in the book of God in heaven, it's a sinner. Because there are some things that are sought to. There are some things that are open. We, God has given us the opportunity to some extent to see what are open. Even many times, those things that are open, we still make mistakes. Because God has not given it to anybody to judge anybody. So it's not a question of judging people here. But there are some subtle ones. And whether subtle, whether obvious, sin will always separate one from God. Yeah. Sin has two main results. 
Sin has results for the present life. Sin has consequence for the future. In terms of the present life, shame, emptiness, bondage, guilt. It's a terrible thing to be in. For the future, eternal death and eternal hell. But glory be to God at the instant experience of born again, all these both now and future consequences are wiped away. A songwriter, a songwriter put it this way when uh, this um, issue of Nicodemus. A ruler once came to Jesus by night to ask him the way of salvation and light. The master made answer in words true and plain. The words of Jesus is true and plain. Ye must be born again. Very simple and straightforward. Ye children of men, attend to the word so solemnly uttered by Jesus the Lord. And let not this message to you be in vain. Ye must be born again. O ye who would enter this glorious rest. Do we have people here today that want to enter into the glorious rest of our Lord and Savior? Ye must be born again. Do you want to sing with the ransom the song of the blessed? Ye must be born again. Do you want to obtain everlasting life? Ye must be born again. A dear one in heaven thy heart yearns to see. Isn't that true? Yes. Many people that have gone on before, the songwriter put it this way, at the beautiful gate may be watching for thee. Oh. Those that have gone on before, those that have served the Lord, those that have been born again, they are at the beautiful gate. When will my daughter arrive? When will my son arrive? When will my friend arrive? We pray that they are not disappointed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Then list to the note of this solemn uh, um, uh, injunction, ye must be born again. Born again is a sure experience. Born again is a real experience. We can have it. Let me quickly pause here. When I was um, at the university in Bangor, I had um, a research um, colleague. And when we talk, I speak, I, I always talk about born again. And she told me, that is something weird, mm. very weird. She will put it in a way that, uh, 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 well, it may be weird because you don't know what I'm talking about. OK, fine. Don't let us use it. She will be saying, don't use that word born again again. I said, it's in the Bible. Yes, it's in the Bible, but don't use it again. OK, maybe we have people here too that are saying, that is weird. What are you talking about? You know, there are many names for this born again. Just simply, you can be saved from your life of sin. Oh, yes. you, you can be transformed. Yes. The blood of Jesus can wash away your sin. Yes. It's the same thing we are talking about. Yes. You can be regenerated. Yes. It's the same thing we are talking about. Yes. It is true that the terminology in terms of born again, if they will read the account, yeah, the way Jesus Christ explained to this man, then they will understand. But because people don't read the Bible again, and that is why, to some extent, when you are saying you must be born again, even some people joke and play about it today. Born again, born again. Born again, born again. It's a real experience. Yes. It's a true experience. Yes. Everyone that wants to make heaven must be born again. Yes. And to be born again simply means to be transformed, yes. to be changed by the blood of Jesus, to be washed by the blood of Jesus. Who are those that are eligible? Everyone. Even though... There is this power of choice. But Jesus is able and is eager to save whosoever will. Just as the word declares, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. May you call upon the name of the Lord today. May you call upon him in faith. May you call upon him believing. May you call upon him knowing that that power from above can descend upon you and give you the power to go and sin no more. Amen. The Lord is able to do that. Amen. God's appeal extends to all people in every generation. But it is a personal choice to avail ourselves. When a sinner meets with the Spirit of God, he submits, confesses, repents, something miraculous happens. Instantly, that person is born anew. Is born again. 
the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 that we all know very well says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And that is true. The old man, sin, power of Satan, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, lust of the mind, pride of life, worldliness, works of the flesh, vile affections, motions of sins, carnality, lying, anger, murmuring, complaining, fighting, disobedience, fornication, uncleanness, feel the communication, all are wiped off. Amen. The blood of Jesus can do that. Amen. That blood is so powerful. Yes. And faith in that blood can do wonders. It's, 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 it is a terrible thing to be carrying guilt. It doesn't matter how many cars. It doesn't matter the size of your dwelling. It doesn't matter the um, thousands or millions of pounds sterling you have. They cannot take away the guilt of sin. They can't take away the condemnation of sin. The unrest, the fear, no hope, no joy. But at the instant experience of the new birth yeah. that is made available through the blood of Jesus, mm. one's life can be completely 360 degree turn. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Just a roundabout turn oh, yeah. to become something else, to become something for the Lord. All things will become new, not just only inside. Inside and outside. Oh, yes. Don't let people deceive you. It's only by inside. No, 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 no. It is the two together. Yes. For what we see outside is the product of what is inside. Yes. Nothing just happened. Just fall upon me like that. No, 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 no. It is all coming from what is inside. Yeah. So that change is both uh, um, inside and outside, the, 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 the way things will look, and everybody will see it. That change, you will know yourself. I have experienced it. Amen. I knew when it happened yes. to me. Yes. I can sing that I was once a sinner. Yes. But now I am saved. Yes. But now I am free. Yes. Now I have the power and I can testify to that. Not that sin will not come to me. Sin comes to me. The word of God says that um, when the spirit of the devil leaves one. That may be likened to experience of salvation. He goes round. He will return. He does return. He does come to check. Is there a room for me again? In the same heart that I've gone out from. So sin, Satan, they are still around. They be hovering around. Since, that God, since God gave me that experience on Sunday like this, December 1, 1974, the enemy of my soul has always been coming round. Mm. Every time, every moment, mm. he'll be telling me, commit me, mm. do me. Mm. Still want to find a way inside me. Mm. But one thing is certain. Mm. You know, those who want to be kept, mm. God will keep them. Yes. Yes. That is just certain. Yes. I have that as something very uh, uh, solid in my soul yes. that God can save and he can keep. Yes. For anybody that want to be kept. And if anything has happened to you in the interim, I can tell you. Jesus Christ said that I have come for the sinners. You, are, you just need to admit that yes, I've sinned. And not that you are, you, are, you are glorying in it, but you just have to admit I have sinned. And immediately you confess again, he forgives. He forgets. As if nothing has happened. That is Jesus. That is God. That is what he can do. And that is what he's going to do for everyone born and that is present here today. These changes, as I said, is known to yourself and is known to other people. Yes. People will know. Yes. No, 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 no. They will know. Yeah. It's a transformed life. It's a changed life. Amen. A songwriter put it this way. The things I used to do. Yeah. The place I used to go. You can't just go there again. You tell your friend, ah, let's go again. What? Jesus has saved my soul. Amen. Saved your soul. I'm born again. Yeah. 
Oh, is it that one that uh, as you called born again, born again? Let's 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 give you few few months or one week or two weeks or three weeks. We have some people today that are 75 years, Amen. 50 years, Amen. 10 years, mm -hmm. and they are still on the road. Yes. And God is going to keep them. Yes. So this change of life will be known to others. You know, the newborn believer's outlook and lifestyle will change. Amen. Holiness will become a lifestyle. Amen. Amen. Do you know what I'm saying? Holiness, the life of holiness is not going to be a haphazard thing. Today I do it, tomorrow I don't. Today I do it, tomorrow I It's a lifestyle. You know a lifestyle? Yeah. Holiness will become a lifestyle yeah. in terms of the way you do things, how you do things, the way you respond to things will be a li lifestyle. The wrong things that were once loved, you will now hate them. Amen. And the right things that you once hated, you will now love them. Yeah. Not only do actions change, but even our motives and our desires, they are transformed. The sense of separation and the inner emptiness that we have before, all this will vanish. Amen. All this will go. Amen. Salvation will cause an individual to feel complete. Amen. Do we have people that are saved here this morning? Yes. Salvation will make you feel complete. Yes. No fear. Yes. May the Lord save all the unsaved today. Amen. It will make you feel loved. It is lack of salvation. Many people crying. They don't love me. They don't love me. You go out and love people. Yeah. And when especially you remember Jesus loves me. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Make one feel loved. And make one to be at peace. With God. Yeah. Be checking inside yourself. Be at peace. With God. And with men. Are you? At peace inside you with God yeah. and with everyone. Salvation. Yeah. May God save all the unsaved today. Yeah. Romans 6 14 says that um, sin shall have shall not have dominion. Yeah. I love this verse. Yeah. I love this. I love every verse of the scripture. But just the way it is explained to me in my spirit, sin will no more reign. R A I G N will not be my, my, my commander, again. Will not be my director, again. Will not have dominion over me. Sin shall not have dominion over you. Now that one is giving power to go and sin no more. You know what? You become the one in control. In the name of Jesus. You know there is a great difference between a thermostat and a thermometer. Before you are saved, one can liken one's life to be a thermometer. The conditions around regulate the thermometer. Makes the thermometer to go up and down. When the condition says uh, it's hot, you see the thing rising up like that, the mercury. When the conditions goes down, it comes down. Thermometer. Wherever the devil says go, ready to go. Lie is nothing. Lie it. Um, um, do this, you do it. But you know, at the point you are saved, the mercury and all the mechanism of that thing called thermometer is changed to a thermostat. You know, thermostat controls. You know that thing we have in our house? You set it at something, maybe 20 or whatever, whatever you set it to, there is no amount of horsepower that your boiler will have. When it gets to that level, the thermostat will say, sorry, cut off. Amen. Amen. God. I want to be a thermostat Christian. Amen. The one that is in charge yes. by the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. by the power of God. Amen. It's not the condition around you controlling you. You are the one now controlling that's what that uh, scripture says. Sin will no more have dominion. Yes. Will not be the one reigning over me. It's now under. Yes. Sin is yes. under. Yes. Sin is under. Yes. It's no more on top. Yes. That's what the power of Jesus can do. Yes. You can say, sin will say, commit me. Mm -mm, you're under. Stay there. Yes. 
hey, do this. No, 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 you belong there. Stay there. Amen. And that's where it will stay. Yeah. Because God has now given you the power to be in control. That's what the power of God can do. Yeah. As this baby became the child of the appearance by birth, so we too can be God's children by second birth. Yeah. There is no other way to be a child of God. There is just no other way. The baby that we've just dedicated, it just not run from one bush. Boop. Now I want to be your child. <laughs> or just jump down. Boop. I've jumped down now. Now I'm your child. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Micah knows the parents. Yes. The parents knows Micah. Yes. So also God knows his children. Yes. The children of God, they know they are God. Yes. Does God know you as his child? Forget the pastor now. Forget the minister now. Just you and God. Does he know you? Do you know him? We can keep our salvation. by, If we have the purpose to continue to live for God, make restitutions, read the Bible, pray, Seek deeper experiences with God. Have fellowship with other Christians. Tell others about Christ. Be sensitive to the spirit of God. Continue to abhor and reject all known sins and determine to obey God at all costs. God will help you to keep your salvation. Amen. God will keep the person who want to be kept. Yeah. The word, word of God tells us in 2 Timothy 1.12, I am not ashamed, yeah. for I know whom I have believed, yes. and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. The Lord is able to keep us. Amen. Whatever we have committed to him. We are celebrating and rejoicing today over this, our little boy. So angels in heaven are waiting. They want to rejoice over those that will be born again today. Those that will call upon God. And we say, please, I'm coming home. Yes, Lord. Do you want to have life eternal? Yes. Do you want to make heaven your home? Yes. Do you want to see the kingdom of God and enter into it? Yes. You must be born again. Amen. Your sins must go. And Jesus Christ is here today to make that happen. Maybe you are truly already saved. You can, even as we had this morning, dedication service, you can dedicate your life. Yeah. You can rededicate your life. Amen. You can recommit your life. You can say, God, yes, you have saved me, and I thank you for that, but I'm dedicating my life to you anew. I'm giving you my life anew. Still purge me. Still look inside me. Take out anything and everything, whatever you don't like, that I'm still part of me, that you can see, that I cannot see. Oh, Lord, please, do this for me. Amen. The Lord is here and is ready to bless. And I'm wondering whether we actually have people that truly want to be God's children, truly want to be saved from their life of sin. It's only a prayer away. It's only a confession of sins. It's only asking Jesus to come into your heart. It's only pleading for the blood of Jesus. It's only telling Jesus, if you give me that power to go and sin no more, by your power, I will not sin again. Amen. Jesus will answer such honest prayers as we come to the uh, uh, um, altar here to pray. We sing our closing song, Will You Be Free From Your Burden of Sin? There is power in the blood of Jesus. Shall we rise up and people can come to the altar?
again before you yeah. with our hearts, Heavenly Father. Yes. We don't want, to, Father God, to go back the same way we came in. Change, Father God. Amen. Change our hearts, Heavenly yeah. Father. Save souls today, yeah. Father God. Change souls, Heavenly Amen. Father. We know you are able. Yes. We know you are able. Yes. Do it for us, Heavenly yeah. Father. Because by your Jesus, by your blood, yeah. you died for us on the cross. Yeah. We want to take, Father God, a new heart home. Yeah. We thank you, Jesus. Yeah. As we are kneeling, Father God, yeah. hear and answer our yeah. prayers. Yeah. Hear and answer our yeah. prayers. Yeah. The plea of our hearts, Heavenly yeah. Father, yeah. is to go home changed. Yeah. We pray believing yes. that you are able. Yes. Jesus, we pray in your holy name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah.